Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? It's March. We'll begin the March 6, 2022 Sunday worship service. Please close your eyes and we'll begin the service by lifting our prayers to the Lord. This is what the Lord said. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved Heavenly Father. Today, on your day, we lift our worship to you, who is the true God, with our brothers and sisters. Thank you for saving us through Jesus Christ and providing us daily grace that we need. And we thank you that we are able to worship you today. With man's wisdom and power, we cannot know your love and grace. But thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit and leading us to believe in your salvation. We are living and protected in your unchanging grace. But in this world, there are many people who face various problems and sufferings. Especially in Ukraine, many people are losing their lives or losing their families due to the war. Please stop the one who is killing people by wielding violence out of his own desire. Please lead this war to be over quickly. Among our brothers and sisters, there are people who are in the midst of suffering, especially for those who are fighting against cancer. We ask for your healing and salvation and peace. Please fill them with your great and unsearchable healings that they do not know. Please give your grace today to each and everyone who worships you and seek your amazing grace. We thank you and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us lift our worship to the Lord for those who are able. Please stand and worship with us. Thank you. 
Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name. Our great God, we praise your power as our Creator and Redeemer. We rejoice in your hand. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to worship you joyfully. As your holy people, as your children, Lord, we come to listen to your word and to know your will through the preaching of Pastor Lee, whom you have chosen as your faithful shepherd. Please help him to preach your word boldly and guide our worship to be pleased with your sight. Also, please strengthen Pastor Lee as your precious vessel and protect him both spiritually and physically from every evil spirit and any attack. Almighty God, we also think of your people, our brothers and sisters in this world. We pray, may you stop the sinful human battle on this earth. Our Lord, Prince of Peace, you yourself are our peace, who has broken down in your flesh the dividing wall of hostility. Now especially help and save your people out of the crisis in Ukraine and guide the leaders in every nation with your wisdom for world peace so that they may choose the right direction in your sight. Please help God's people's prayer all over the world to be united in front of you. We give thanks to you, Lord, because whatever happens, we, your people, know that nothing can separate us from you and your love. We, your people, are more than conquerors through our Lord Jesus Christ. Please help us to remember our love and passion we had at first to you and to be fervent in spirit to serve your will, which gives a new birth from above as many as possible and gives an eternal life to those believers. Through this worship, strengthen us to glorify you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Galatians 1, 11-17 for I would have you know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel which was preached by me is not of a human invention. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I used to persecute the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my countrymen, being more extremely jealous for my ancestral traditions. But when he who had sent me apart even from my mother's womb and called me through his grace was pleased to receive, reveal his son in me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult with flesh and blood. Nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away to Arabia and returned once more to Damascus. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for protecting us in your unfailing love and grace in the past week so that we are able to worship you today. 
We have been saved through Jesus Christ and given all the blessings that we need every single day. With the thankful heart, we give our worship to you and we give our offerings to you. Please bless abundantly each and every one who gives worship and offerings from their grateful heart and use our offerings to help people in need and cleanse and use our offerings to share your gospel of life so that more people can be saved. We are yet again trying to listen to your word of life. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we cannot know your will. Feel those who are delivering the message, translating the message, and listening to the message with your Holy Spirit so that they can know your will and your grace. We thank you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's title is The Gospel by Revelation. The Gospel of Jesus Christ, through which we are saved, is by revelation from God. In the letter to the Galatians, Paul is explaining about the gospel that he is preaching. In the region of Galatia, some people were preaching the false gospel. They taught people that they could not be saved if they did not keep the law. So Paul explained about the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ. In today's passage in verse 11, Paul says that the gospel which was preached by him was not of a human invention. Not of a human invention means that it was not made by human effort or thought. He says that he did not receive it from man, but through a revelation of Jesus Christ. What is your revelation? Have we ever received a revelation? Revelation cannot be discovered by human effort, but a new understanding from God. It's about gaining new knowledge. Maybe some of you think that they have never experienced the revelation, but those who believe in Jesus Christ have had revelations. There are two types of revelation from God. What are they? They are general revelation and special revelation. General revelation refers to the general truth that can be known about God through nature. Through beautiful nature, we are able to think of God who created the heaven and the earth. Through nature, God leads us to realize that there is a creator. Romans chapter 1 verse 20 says about the general revelation. It says that for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, its eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. So when we look at the nature that God created, we think of God who created nature. So even those who say that there is no God, when they stand before God, they have no excuse for not knowing God. It means that even non-believers think of the Creator when they see nature. Before I became a Christian, to those who tried to share the gospel with me, I used to attack them by asking, Have we ever seen God? How can you believe in a God whom you cannot see? I don't think there is a God. 
But to be honest in my mind, looking at the amazing nature, I sometimes thought that someone created it. Even if I told people that there was no God in my heart, as I looked at nature, I thought of the existence of a creator. Through general revelation, through nature can lead us to think of our creator. Then what is a special revelation? Even if we look at nature, no matter how much we look at nature and think about the Creator, we cannot realize how we are able to be saved. No matter how hard humans try, they cannot solve the problem of death. Everyone dies. How can we overcome death? So God revealed the way of salvation to us because we cannot be saved by our own wisdom and strength. That is a special revelation. Romans chapter 1 verse 2 says, The which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The Way of Salvation the gospel of salvation of Jesus Christ was promised through the Bible, which was written through various prophets before Jesus Christ came. God has revealed salvation through prophets who were filled with the Holy Spirit. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2 says about the completion of our salvation. He says that in these last days He has spoken to us by His Son. It was revealed through the Son who had been prophesied in the Old Testament. So God's perfect revelation was fulfilled through Jesus Christ. So in verse 3 He says that the sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of His being. Jesus Christ is the perfect manifestation and perfect revelation of God. Through the Son of God, through Jesus Christ, God's perfect revelation and perfect salvation were revealed. So God specially revealed to us the way of salvation and the gospel that we will be saved by faith in Jesus Christ. So special revelation is God's teaching of the way of salvation that cannot be realized by human strength. And the special revelation was fulfilled through the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Bible was written by those who were filled with the Holy Spirit, and the Old Testament and the New Testament has been given to us through God's revelations, and how Paul explains how he became an apostle and how he received the gospel. In verse 13, Paul says, that I used to persecute the church of God beyond the measure and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my countrymen, being more extremely jealous for my ancestral traditions. He is confessing that he was more jealous in keeping the traditions of his ancestors than in the will of God. He had the wrong zeal. He was the one who persecuted the believers and jealously kept the traditions of his ancestors rather than the word of God. But in verse 15, he says, But when he who had sent me apart even from my mother's womb, and called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son in me, 
so that I might preach him among the Gentiles. He was a former persecutor of the church, but God revealed his salvation, the gospel, by grace. In Galatians, Paul briefly describes how he received the revelation, but in the book of Acts, he explains about it in detail. In the book of Acts, how Paul was saved and how he received the revelation is recorded three times. In Acts chapter 22, verse 3, he introduces himself and says that he was educated at the feet of Gamaliel according to the strict manner of the law, being jealous for God. But it was the long jail. Paul said he was educated by Gamaliel. At the time, being educated by Gamaliel meant studying at the best university in today's terms. He received the best education. In Acts chapter 5, verse 34, there is a description of Gamaliel, a Pharisee and a teacher of the law, respected by all the people. In Acts chapter 5, the council members decided to kill the apostles because they preached the risen Jesus Christ. But Gamaliel was the one who defended the apostles and saved their lives. At that time, if someone believed in Jesus Christ, they were kicked out of the council. So even if he maybe did not clearly state his own faith, Gamaliel defended the apostles. So the apostles were not killed, but beaten and released. Gamaliel was a respected teacher of the law. He knew the Old Testament very well. So he must have realized that Jesus was the Savior who was prophesied in the Old Testament. I think that's why even if Gamaliel didn't exactly express his faith here, he saved the apostles. This is a painting of the 16th century. This image describes the Gamaliel and Nicodemus mourn the death of Stephen, who was the first Christian martyr. Even if Nicodemus was Ga and Gamaliel did not directly express their faith in the council, they later came to believe in Jesus Christ. Paul was the disciple of Gamaliel, so he should have believed in Jesus Christ, but he did not believe in Jesus Christ. On the contrary, he persecuted Christians. Paul learned the law from Gamaliel and knew the Old Testament very well. Nevertheless, he could not realize that Jesus Christ was the Savior who was prophesied in the Old Testament. To realize it, he needed a revelation from God. The divine revelation is recorded in Acts chapter 9. Paul's original name was Saul. He persecuted the people in Jerusalem and he was still breathing out murderous threats against the believers. He even wanted to kill those who were scattered because of the persecution in Jerusalem. So in Acts chapter 9, verse 2, he went to Damascus with the letter from the high priest to arrest the believers. 
and as he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. So he fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul asked, Who are you, Lord? Jesus replied, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. We have a very important thing here. Who is Saul persecuting? He persecuted the believers in Jesus Christ. However, Jesus said, that he is persecuted. When we suffer, Jesus suffers the same. When we are persecuted, when we suffer, Jesus Christ suffers with us. Through this encounter, Paul knew that Jesus was the Savior who had been prophesied in the Old Testament. Jesus Christ directly met Paul and revealed himself and the Gospel. I think Paul was shocked at that time. He himself was jealous for traditions from his ancestors, but he realized that he was actually against God. In verse 16, after meeting Jesus, Paul did not immediately consult with the flesh and blood, even with other apostles such as Peter. But he went away to Arabia and returned once more to Damascus. What Paul is talking about here is that he directly received the revelation from Jesus Christ and came to believe in the gospel. So he said that the gospel he is preaching is through the revelation of God and through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Why do you think he did not meet with other apostles and any human being? Paul was well versed in the Old Testament. I think that he must be seeking to know more about the gospel based on the Old Testament that he had learned. Then why did Jesus appear and reveal himself to the one who has been persecuting believers? Paul first appears in the Bible when the first mother, Stephen, died. Acts chapter 8 verse 1 says that Saul approved of their killing Stephen. No other names are written here, only Saul. This means that Saul was responsible for Stephen's death. Stephen prayed before he died, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. This prayer is the same as Jesus prayed on the cross. God answered Stephen's prayer and forgave and saved the soul. Not only that, but God chose him as an apostle to preach the gospel. The grace of God to save sinful humans like Paul continues from the early church to today. Let me tell you about Christopher Yuan. There are several videos of him on YouTube recently. When he was young, he went to his friend's house to play. After reading an adult magazine with his friend, his life totally changed. The magazine led him to think that he was a gay. So after that, he lived a gay life. 
Not only that, he became addicted to drugs. Not only does he do drugs, he makes a living selling drugs. His mother was a devout Christian, so she prayed for he, him. She did not give up and kept praying. She continued to pray for his son, her son, for eight years. But still, her son did not change. So she prayed even harder. She fasted every Monday and prayed for the salvation of her son. But still, her son did not change. One day, the police came to Christopher's house and found a lot of drugs. So he was sentenced to 60 years in prison. In a medical examination before entering the prison, he knew that he had AIDS. Many of his gay friends had AIDS. He was completely desperate. He was more shocked than he had AIDS. Then he was sentenced into the prison. One day, as he was looking at the low ceiling of the prison, he saw Grapidi saying, When you are bored, please read Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. So he opened the Bible in the prison and read Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When he read this scripture, the Holy Spirit moved him. Even if he was in a desperate state, he was filled with hope. On that day, Christopher Yuan was saved. After getting out of prison six years later, he went to a seminary and became a pastor. How did this happen to him? Through his mother's prayer, the revelation of the Holy Spirit has been given to him. He was a drug addict. He was also an age patient. Feeding addiction is very difficult, but the gospel of Jesus Christ has power. The gospel has the power to overcome physical illness, mental problems, spiritual problems, and the problem of death. Why did God reveal himself to this sinful man? It was thanks to his mother's prayer. Paul was a persecutor of Christians, but Jesus revealed himself to him through Stephen's prayer. Through the revelation of Jesus Christ, Paul was saved and became a preacher of the salvation of Jesus Christ. This grace continues today, and we are receiving it. Let us pray. Hallelujah, dear Heavenly Father. We are sinful people, but thank you for saving us through the grace of Jesus Christ. We have been saved through those who prayed for our salvation and preached the gospel. Help us to share the gospel of life like Paul. We thank you and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us praise God once more for those who are able to please stand and worship with us.
The love of the Heavenly Father, the grace of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one who has been saved through the grace of Jesus Christ and who wants to share the gospel from now till eternity abundantly and abundantly. We ask for the blessing and pray. Amen. This upcoming week, let us live filled with the Holy Spirit and we'll see you again next week.